Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you three music inspired projects that you can create for yourself or give to someone else. The first DIY is inspired by music records. So for this project you're going to need black colored paper, clear contact paper, a compass, scissors, paper for the label and the color of your choice, glue and a notebook if you want to create a cover for that as I do it here. First, measure out the size you will need for the cover and cut out the paper. You don't have to make it as a notebook cover, you can also create a card, photo album or something else you want. Next, mark the area on the black paper where you want the center of the record to be. And then measure out the clear contact paper. It has to be slightly bigger than the paper itself. Cut it out and then remove a little bit of the adhesive paper and attach it to the black paper. And now carefully release more contact paper while pressing it down onto the black paper. Unfold the excess plastic over the edges. By the way, this step is optional. I just thought this way the contact paper will give a little bit of shine to the record so it doesn't look so matte. Now with your compass, start drawing circles around the center you marked earlier. With this compass, we kind of press in the lines you can see on the records. Just be careful to not press too hard or you can damage the contact paper as I accidentally did in the beginning. Add the lines randomly. I have a few smaller and some bigger gaps in between. Next, take another colored paper and draw a circle that is slightly smaller than the middle area of the record. This is going to be the label. Cut out the circle and also the center to create a hole. Now with some glue, attach a label onto the paper using the mark point as a guidance. If you want, you can now go ahead and add details. I drew a line inside and added some reflection lines with a white waterproof pen. But this is optional, I just wanted to show you what else you can do. Now you can attach the paper to the notebook using some glue. I also added a white circle to the center of the label just to cover it up. And now you can add more details. I wrote a title of the record and the year, but you can also write down your subject, name or anything else you have in mind. Of course you can adjust the record however you like. I just wanted to give you an idea how you can create something inspired by vinyl records. The next DIY you might already know from my unicorn DIY, but I still wanted to include these temporary tattoos as I find them so fun. For this project you are going to need tattoo paper that comes with two different sheets. Start by preparing the images for the tattoos. I used different icons that reminded me of music like music sheets, notes and claps. Make sure to change the size according to the size you want your image to be and leave some space in between as we will cut them out later. And then mirror everything. Once you're done, print them out onto the white glossy side of the paper using your settings on high. Let the ink dry for at least 15 minutes and once everything has dried, apply the adhesive sheet to the top of the printed image by peeling away the green side on one of the ends. Align it with one of the sides of the printed tattoo paper and then peel away the rest of it while smoothing the adhesive down onto the paper. Now cut out the images. I cut them out rather roughly as I find that this way they stay so much better on the skin. Once you've prepared all the images, peel away the clear plastic layer. From here apply the tattoo's adhesive side to wherever you want your tattoo to be and then cover it with a wet cloth for a few seconds or until the paper slides off. I find these temporary tattoos will be a unique gift for any music lover as well. The last DIY is inspired by the clef. All you need is gold or silver colored wire and round nose pliers. Begin by measuring out the length of the wire. I would recommend cutting off more than you need. This way it's easier to adjust it later. And then start by creating a loop at one of the ends but keep it open. This is going to be the closure. Now place the wire around your wrist to measure out where the cleft should be. Don't worry about the exact measurements for now as we can adjust everything later. Next take the other end at the measured out area and with the pliers holding like that, wrap the wire around the pliers anti-clockwise to create a loop. And then create another loop a bit further away from the loop we just created but this time clockwise like this. This way we rather want to fold the wire and have a loop on top. Next, bend the wire close to the first loop anti-clockwise like that. Since I had too much wire, I cut off the excess and pulled it underneath the main wire like so. 
And now just bend the end of the wire into a loop that is not closed and the clef is finished. And now you can try it on. If you find the bracelet is too big, just cut off some wire at the end and create a new loop for the closure. Slightly bend the bracelet to make it more round if necessary and you're done. Let me know in the comments down below if you play any instruments and if not, what instrument you would like to learn and why. I hope you enjoyed these ideas and found them helpful. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and see you next week.